Welcome back to House of Romans. My name is Manuel. So today I got a topic. I've seen a lot of people talk about it, like, you know, different worded differently. But today we'll talk about some fragrances, the fragrances that I think a lot of us tend to look for, which is the ones that, that, I, that I called head turners. You know, talk about where you, you spray your fragrance, you walk by, and then all of a sudden either somebody stops you and says, what are you wearing? Or, or, you know, you're walking by, you're looking at something, then like on the corner of your eye, you see somebody just staring at you. <laughs> and then they'll approach you or just be like, you know, trying to pick up what's, what, you know, <laughs> what's that smell? So again, I got 11 fragrances, 11 fragrances from my collection. And I could have went more, but these are the ones that I have experienced where they've asked me what I'm wearing or, or they did a hair turn. <laughs> so again, 11 fragrances that I consider their head turners. So here we go. Never gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you go. Never gonna say goodbye, no. Never gonna give you up. I'm never gonna let you go. Never gonna say goodbye, no. Never gonna give, never gonna give, never gonna give. Man, oh man, oh man, thank y'all for sticking around. So again, I got 11 fragrances from my experience that I've had people ask me what I'm wearing or just amazed about my scent profile. So again, they're not in any particular order. Each of them contains their own, I guess their own identity or their own uh, scent profile because it's not like all winter fragrances or all summer fragrances. It's a combination of all together. Uh, there's some affordable ones and there's some expensive ones. So again, no in particular order. Here we go. The first one, the first one that, that really, really uh, uh, surprised me. And this is an affordable fragrance. You can find this at Walmart. I've talked about it before. And uh, again, just, it really shocked me when I wore this one. And I think I've worn it about three or four times. And almost every single time that I've worn it, people ask me, what am I wearing? What's that scent? And the first one I'm gonna talk about is from the house of uh, G, Il G Bronze. This one's supposed to be a clone of, uh, which one is it? It's uh, Aqua de Gio Absolute. Again, I've worn this and it, and it been times where, it was the first time I wore this one, and we had went to go get a, I think we were coming from somewhere and we went to go get some, some tacos at a taco truck. And it was already, man, probably about six hours in, I guess, when I wore this one. And so the wind was blowing. And so people that were standing there, they all, you know, a couple of people would ask me, what was that scent? Again, this is a nice, citrusy, beautiful, well-blended, if it's sort of it's not exactly like it but it's sort of like a the absolute aqua geo absolute but again this is a head turn a lot of people always ask me what, what is what am i wearing what is what is it again you can find this at walmart for eight what was it eight nine bucks again geo il bronx hey. Hey. Oh, i just came back from coming in from work the next one, the next one, I'm gonna go with this one. This one, it is a nice fragrance. I haven't seen it in a while out in, in, in the uh, in the uh, uh, rack stores, but I purchased it at the rack stores. I think I paid like 20 or 25 bucks. And this one has always given me compliments also. This one is considered to, to me a fall winter fragrance. It's from the house of Salvatore Ferragamo, Womo Signature. So you should start seeing a lot of videos, a lot of people talking about this one starting pretty soon. So, man, this is just a beautiful blended. It automatically, when you when you spray it on, when you smell it, to me, it just automatically reminds me of, of fall and winter. It's just like a coffee, sweet, sort of like, man, it's, it's sort of like uh, like a little bit of a smoky uh, scent. 
very, very nice. Again, every single time I wear this, I always get compliments. And I had an opportunity, but I, I didn't pull the trigger. So to give me a backup bottle, but believe you me, if I see it, I'm gonna get it. Again, Sevator Ferragamo, Uomo Signature. Another head turn. The next one, the next one is another affordable fragrance. And this one's very, very nice. Not only have I gotten people asking me what it is, but I enjoy it myself tremendously. It's, uh, it's one of the, I guess, off brands or brands, I guess, I don't know if it's, uh, they're part of the store. I've only seen these at Marshall's. It's Beverly Hills 90210. I saw the name at the bottom. This was Aqua Blue. Beverly Hills 90210 Aqua Blue. This is just a nice, bright, citrusy, very, very enjoyable. This one will make a summer, again, just to, this is my opinion, and it, it, it seems to make the hot day cool you down. That's how, how bright and citrusy this fragrance is. Again, Beverly Hills 90210 Aqua Blue. Very, very nice. People have asked me what I'm wearing on that one too. So it's, it's giving me compliments. The next one, the next one is from the house of Armagh. Is uh, I mean, Al Hermain, I'm sorry, Al Hermain Amber Oud Gold Edition. This is a very nice, sweet fragrance, very, very enjoyable. This is well rounded, and it's a sweetness in here that it doesn't get overbearing, it doesn't irritate your nose. It get to me, it don't. It's just very, very enjoyable. I've worn this for, for weddings, quinceanera, stuff like that. And uh, I've been asked probably about once or twice of what I'm wearing. So again, I had to give me a backup bottle. So I really like this a lot. Very, very nice. Al Hermain Amber Oud Gold Edition. This one's so strong. I hope I'm selling, I'm selling JP or somebody. Well, anyways, this one, when you spray your shirt, you don't have to wash your shirt twice. You spray on your clothes, you don't have to wash your shirt twice. And after it comes out the dryer, when you wash it the first time, you're going to smell it. It's just going to bounce right off. As soon as you pull out that shirt, out the, that's what happened to me. Uh, as soon as I pull out my shirt out, when I sprayed this one on, as soon as I took it out the dryer, been washed already. But take it out the dryer, you can still smell it. Very, very nice. Again, the next one, the next one. It's a beautiful scent. It's from the House of Ugo Balls. And again, you'll start seeing this a lot soon, if not yet. People are talking about it. Ugo Balls Private Accord. Oh, man, this is just a nice, semi-sweet, smoky. You don't even have, I don't even have to spray this. And it's just very, very enjoyable. Again, to me, this is Peaks Fall and Winter. I did a combination that I've asked, and I forgot to post that video of it. Go and speak about it right now. I, I blended this one in a small decan. I think I sprayed, uh, I blended this one with the uh, uh, Montal Chocolate Greedy. I sprayed the Chocolate Greedy probably about five times and then 10 times of this one into a small decan. Mix it up, you know, the whole way to work, I'm shaking, shaking, shaking. As soon as I get to work, I spray myself, and then probably later on, there's a friend of mine there at work. He asked me, "Man, what are you wearing?" So I told him what I did. He said, "Oh, you try to make your own little blend, huh?" <laughs> and just sometimes what I like doing, I like layering stuff, combining stuff, see what works out. So again, this is very, very nice by itself. I've received plenty of compliments. This is my backup bottle. I got my big one up there, saving this one. Again, very, very nice. You can start. You should start seeing these again. At uh, Marshalls, uh, Ross, Burlington. Keep an eye on these. Uh, I think this one I paid 29 bucks for uh, 1.7. In the big bottle, I paid about 40 for it. So again, very, very nice. See a lot of compliments on this one. Now mixing it with that uh, Montal, man. 
the next one because still got a little bit more more to go the next one the next one i got a decan of it thanks to my boy jp jp fresh check the channel out it is a uh, medicine imperial no, is it medicine imperial i uh, know arm off arm off uh i just had it right now you should bring it down is the uh, arm off i don't even have that oh, yeah, Give me one second. This one's an Armand Club Nuit, but I can't remember what it is. Sea Lodge, I think it is. If I remember correctly, I'll put a picture somewhere up here of it. Again, got a decan of it. This is very, very nice to me. This is a, this is a very man, how can I explain this? It's sort of like a bright earthy but in a good way it just a nice enjoyable fragrance very very nice so strong that <laughs> and even uh my wife's like man that is too too strong babe and i like this and again just very very nice uh i've worn it a couple of times just about halfway so very very nice appreciate jp i enjoy this one again i received compliments on it also asking me what i'm wearing and the same time, I keep forgetting I have to look it up on my phone to see the right name for it. So, again, it's from the House of Armoth. Club de Weed, Sea Lodge, I believe it is. But, again, I'll put the picture on. You'll see, you see the picture somewhere on top. The next one, the next one. The next one is another one that you should start he hearing about it. Uh, lately, I've been seeing uh, uh, Jim, J uh, Jeremy Frank was talking about this a lot as a good, affordable fragrance. It's from the house of Halloween, Halloween Man X. Again, this is a very nice fragrance. Let's spray on this little one. Nice coffee, little bit of a tobacco, what I pick up, a little bit like a tobacco, like a wet tobacco fragrance with some coffee notes. Very, very nice. Again, just by smelling on it, if you ever get your nose on it, just by smelling it, again, it's just me. I automatically think of fall and winter. I guess because that's the only time I really use this in, and, and just maybe that's why, but to me, just it just defines, because, you know, during the, during the fall and winter time, a lot of people drink a lot of coffee, hot chocolate, stuff like that. So, you know, and, and to me, that's what, what reminds me of it. So, again, Halloween Man X. The next one, the next one, I guess the next one's considered to be like a club banger or club fragrance. It's from the house of Carolina Herrera. Uh, VI, 212 VIP Black. Oh, this one, you can smell it on, without spraying it, but here we go. I should have put that little tip on it white, but it's all black. Man, this is a nice fragrance. I've gotten compliments on this one. This is a, it's a sweet fragrance. It's like a fruity, sweet, well-rounded. Very, very nice, very enjoyable. This could be used really for uh, going out on a date. Very, very nice, sweet fragrance. I like this, I enjoy this a lot. If you ever get the chance to get your nose on it, try it out. Again, Carolina Herrera. VIP 212 Black. The next one, the next one is one of my favorites of all times. Thanks to JP. <laughs> this one, I don't even have to spray it just by opening the cap. Very nice from the House of Mancera Instant Crush. It's just a nice fragrance. I, I, I can't speak more highly of this one. Very, very nice. Again, just like uh, just like the uh, uh, our, uh, the Al Hermain one, the the sweetness of this is very enjoyable. You know, there's some fragrances that just is a sweet that irritating, or sometimes can be too too much, overwhelming. But this one just very just very well blended to me, to my opinion, very well blended. Again, just like the Al Hermain, very enjoyable, sweet fragrance. It's sort of in that in that scent profile as Al Hermain. Amber Oud Gold Edition. 
Very, very nice. I received lots of compliments every time I wear this one. Instant Crush. Two more, guys. Two more. The next one. The next one is a beautiful fragrance. I bought a partial bottle. They're at a Dragon Emporium. Oh, excuse me. This one, so you can hear my voice. That's why I like having like a little drink. I can move my drink. But anyways, this was a very nice fragrance. Beautiful, just a hint of coffee in it with some rose uh, scent profile in it. Very nice, very, it's a sweet fragrance again, but the sweetness and the rose scent with the coffee all together just very, very well blended. I couldn't praise this anymore. I, could, I couldn't talk about the good, talk about it as good as I could. This is very, very nice. You get an opportunity to get your hands on it. This is very, very nice. I received compliments on this one by itself. I haven't combined it with anything. But again, uh, Montal Intense Cafe. Very nice, guys. Very, very nice. <clears throat> Last but not least, from the house of Rocha, Rocha Leon. This one, very nice. I just recently purchased it. And I have received compliments. And uh, it's very, it's a well, I guess, it's like a sweet, but not overly sweet, but just enough sweetness with a, little, with a hint of citrus notes in it. Very nice, kind of a aquatic, citrusy, sweet fragrance. Very, very nice. I've worn this a couple of times, uh, two or three times, and I think I've received compliments about twice on this. Very, very enjoyable. Very, very nice. Again, from the house of Rocha, Rocha Leon. Again, just bringing you guys a couple of fragrances. I could have kept going. There's some more that I could have talked about, but just giving you guys uh, 11 fragrances that, you know, giving you guys some options, some, some items to select of fragrances that I received compliments on. Uh, have you guys got your nose on any of these? Any of them that you recommend that, you know what, every time I wear it, I'm getting compliments. And yeah, a lot of times we wear them for that, but for the most part, I wear these because I enjoy smelling them, especially when the air starts blowing or, or you know, you just sitting there, you know, me at work doing my stuff and just hit, get them whiffs of my of the scent. I really enjoy these. Again, make sure to leave me a comment down below. Have you tried any of these? Any ones that you recommend? Uh, make sure you hit give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this. Uh, again, like share and subscribe and uh i keep smelling great and uh when you subscribe make sure you hit the bell icon let you know when i upload new videos so again like share and subscribe y'all keep smelling great y'all stay blessed and see you guys in the next video